Step 22. Installing Gable Trim. Gable trim is used to finish the joints at the gable ends of the building between the roof and the end wall panels. As well as giving those areas a nice finished look, gable trim prohibits the elements from entering your building between the roof and end wall panels. It's designed to run from the end of the roof panels to the center of the peak. Place the gable trim flush with the end of your roof panels. That means if you overhang your roof panels past the sidewall, the gable trim goes to the end of the roof panel. Now, if the length of one gable trim is not sufficient to get to the peak, what I'm about to point out applies to your second piece. At the peak, use a level to mark the center of the peak on the gable trim. Cut the trim about a quarter of an inch past that line with the aviation shears. You're doing this so that there'll be enough room for the overlap from the gable trim on the other side. Now, before you screw the gable trim down, check to see that you've got one major rib of roof panel under the raised flange of the gable trim. If you do, which is usually the case, you won't need butyl tape under the edge of the gable trim that's going on the roof panel. If you don't have a major rib of the roof panel under the raised flange of the gable trim, you'll need to put some of the narrow butyl tape between the edge of the gable trim and the roof panel. This narrow application of the butyl tape will accomplish the same thing as one of the major ribs on a roof panel. It keeps the elements out of your building. Now, when attaching the trim, keep it flush with the front of the building and keep the top flush with the roof. Use the color-coordinated number 14 by 7 8 screws and on the front attach every other major rib and along the roof put a screw about every 24 inches. 